This is insane. A 17-year-old girl from South Africa has graduated with a degree in Actarial Sciences at the University of Pretoria. Again, she is only 17. How is that even possible? Mungiwa Hazel Ntuli is a genius who started studying her degree at the unbelievably young age of 14 years old. And she didn't just pass her degree, she graduated with distinctions and a cum laude. Mungiwa says her teachers realized that she had a gift when in grade 3 she mistakenly wrote a grade 4 mathematics paper and scored the highest of all the actual grade 4 students. The young lady plans to continue her studies until she qualifies as an actuary. And when this happens, she'll probably be the youngest actuary in the whole of South Africa. But nobody can ever tell me that we don't have talent in South Africa because this is just incredible. This young lady, she's only 17 years of age. She just graduated with a degree in actuarial science from the University of Pretoria. Some of us, when we think actuarial science, we think of that difficult course and it, it, it takes a, a special breed of intelligent people. And she's, she's one of them and she's, she's awesome. Now, 17 is an age where most kids are only maybe doing the last year of their high school, getting ready to go to university the, the next year, right? And I've always had this idea that, um, you know, why isn't the high school education system structured in, in that way? Let's say um, she was brilliant, for example, in whatever subject that she was brilliant in. And she was, at some point, she wrote um, a test for other, 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 well, the next classes or classes ahead of her. And she she passed them, right? She she aced them. So I think that should be that such a structure should be put in the education system that uh, if a kid is bright, uh, they should be given a right to test themselves with the next grade. Uh, some, what is it? Subjects, right? And then if they ace them, let them continue as if whereas they're still in that grade. Let them kind of like how the university system works, right? If you if you pass and fail some subjects uh, the next semester, you will repeat the ones that you've uh, passed. So you will repeat um, the ones that you failed and then you'll go ahead and do the next level of the ones that you have uh, that you have passed. So for, 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 in, for, 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 for high school, I think it should be kind of like that. Uh, and it must be in, ex in a extended sense that, you know, whoever can pass in the, the next grade, the next grade, the next grades, Test, they should just continue, you know, you'd find that, you know, one kid is ahead in English, um, she's maybe th two, three grades ahead. I think that should be allowed. Like if, if, if a person is brilliant in one area, they should just go ahead and write tests for the next and next levels, right? Um, I think that that type of um, inequality should be rewarded. And some obviously will, will ace all the subjects and they will they will skip some 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 years and they'll be way ahead kind of like this young lady i think that should be rewarded and then you know they can start their brilliance in the at the university and even in the work world at a young age i think that's just awesome for the person it's awesome for the economy so that we have young people especially like her you know uh doing work in the economy at a, at a, at a young age they will innovate in whatever ways they will innovate and it's just awesome for for the country it's kind of like um even with with uh, entrepreneurship there are those who succeed and then there are those who who um uh, there are those who succeed and there are those who fail and then the ones that do succeed it's good for them and it's good for the economy they get to create economic value create employment and all the good things i think such a system would be great to be implemented in in high school you know 
I, I often sound controversial when I say inequality is good and it should be rewarded. Obviously, there should be, you know, opportunity for everyone to participate. But those who are brilliant, they should, you know, not not uh, be held behind. They must be, they must, they must propel. They must be empowered if need be, because you know, people who create jobs, it's one person creating jobs for, for many a people. So we need that sort of inequality to be a structure in, in, in the most systems so that, uh, you know, the, the ones who can do it go ahead and try to fix whatever problem society has in their different ways. Super. Hey guys, help me find this lady. She deserves a hoodie for Aibe Tunana. Eva, she graduated with actuarial science at 17 years from University of Pretoria. No, no, how, how, how many good the opposite? The influence will have to call and just be shy. Hey, the tuna. Hey, this is hard. How? So, uh, u u mongiwa has a tool. U u choli ziko zi actual science. I know maybe degree actual science. Le le degree I choli agola mtu ota imu choli at the age of seventeen years. Eh, seventeen years old. Baba, seventeen. La po ni la usu usa puma kona metric. Chwa imu choli leg. Eh, chwa ngazga grade three na wa pali pepe la grade four ngepo chwa chwa ba shula bon kena grade four. Ila po abona ala kono tunto tunto. Eh, uche na yese na fourteen ni wai kala ge eh AUP. La poga alcala con actual science, yes, actual science. E la pana, e la yeef, mal mawenda le atikri le. Ha, ma, e bomba na le atikri, au chupe, au chupe, ni span. E bomba le, lo mito na le, utua, utoli. At the age of 17, can you imagine? Ha, ba fana. Hey, ala.